G'day Tom, welcome to Ramen Chokehold mate, thanks for taking the time out to talk to me. Thanks for having me. No worries, now the last time we seen you mate, it was at XFC 32 I believe. Yeah. And that's where you become the XFC featherweight amateur champion. Yeah. Tell me about your night mate. Yeah it was great, it was um, full of emotions, you know like heaps of right. everything really is crazy. One stage I was nervous and next I was bouncing around getting ready and then won the belt. And that's yeah. awesome man, like before the fight started, and this is what I really wanted to talk to you about, your opponent was, uh, let's call it, very aggressive towards you in the yeah. in the back before the fight even started. He was walking up and down and staring you down and that. Yeah. How would you deal with that? I mean... Um, me and my training partner sort of just laughed at him, and he didn't like that much at all. And I just sort of actually worked against him. It made me more calm, made me realise he's insecure, and all my nerves went. I just focused on my training. It actually really worked for me, benefited me a lot. And that's going to help you move in, into the future, isn't it? Yeah. If someone does that again, you, you're just going to draw on that experience, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, definitely. Awesome. And so now tell me what it's like to actually get a belt. I mean, you know, it's because you're an amateur and, and most promotions don't have belts. Yeah. You know, they fill the card up full of amateurs and thank you very much leading up to the pros. Right, but yeah. XFC actually hands out belts and really sort of harnesses those amateur ranks, and I know for a fact that you even put your name down for a junior fight mm. back in the day, didn't you? So yeah. why don't you tell me about you know what it's like to to fight for XFC and and what you're looking forward to in the future? Yeah, I like XFC a lot. I find that they're really professional for the local circuit. Um, I yeah, I like that they have the belts and stuff. Keeps everything you know a good path to the professional. I guess like it's a good stepping stone, I guess, for professional. And um, yeah, I think they're one of the top if not the best in local. Awesome. Yeah. And it, well, they're the oldest Australian MMA promotion going, so you know held the belt for for them. So next fight, um, you're defending your belt, yep. you're defending your amateur title, and uh, why don't you tell me who you're fighting and, and what do you think about the fight? Connor Birch, um, he's from Tribal, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. He's got a big name in the amateur scene and you know people wrap his hands and say he's pretty good so I'm excited to hopefully derail that. Nice and, and if that happens what's what's for you after that? Um, well I turn 18 like pretty soon after that so hopefully I can start aiming for the pros if not defend one more time and then go pro. Alright um, so there we go there's Tom Nolan thanks very much man for spending some time with us. Is you. Where can we find you if you're on social media or all um, those sorts of platforms? I've got Facebook, I've got a Facebook page, uh, just Tom Big Train Nolan, Red Dawn Attire Athlete, and I've got Instagram as uh, Big Train 30. Alright, there he is, Tom Nolan. Thanks for talking to me, Thanks, mate. mate.